This is a cold open. All right, so yesterday was the meeting with Steph and Dion, and it went very well. I'm actually kind of surprised that they let me in the building because on the 6th of March, I wrote an editorial column for the local newspaper that basically said that I think that we should have an election as soon as possible so that he can lose and we can have another leadership race so that he can be replaced. I never was a supporter of the fellow uh, during the, the leadership process. I was vying for another candidate to win. I didn't uh, agree with him and his policies at the time. Um, but since then, he's come more in line with the Liberal Party thinking, and he's been willing to adopt the policies of the party and of the other leadership candidates, and has, I think, done a fairly good job of, of making their policies his own and merging himself within the party. So I was willing to give him a whirl um, and see what he had to say. And so I really kind of went to the meeting with the thought that that would help me decide whether or not he was the person that I wanted to be at the head of my party. And I'm happy to say that, yes, um, he speaks very well, which I was a little surprised by because we never see him on the news. We never hear from him. And I just thought that maybe they were keeping him hidden because he just wasn't able to think on his feet. But nope, that's not the case. So that was very good. Um, he was very casual. He articulated his positions very well. He addressed the local issues that we asked about and answered all of the questions thoroughly. And we talked about a myriad of different things, from infrastructure concerns to his green shift policy to the environmental um, uh, situation to the carbon tax to military, um, the military mission in Afghanistan to Arctic sovereignty. It was all covered, even youth in, in the Liberal Party. So there was a great deal of conversation on a myriad of topics, and he answered all of those questions and flowed very nicely between them. And I was very impressed with him and with his answers and the way that he handled himself. He made a very good comment, which I think probably sort of tipped the balance most significantly in his favor when he talked about the fact that the United States is our closest ally um, and our best friend, but they're not our model. Uh, and that that's something that he and, and his government, should he be elected uh, prime minister, will be very aware of, something which he thinks that Stephen Harper is not very aware of. It's just because they're our closest friend and our closest ally does not mean that we have to be like them. And I really, that's something that I've believed for a long time, that just because we like them doesn't mean we have to be like them. And um, it was great to hear him say that. And so that definitely gave him a boost in my estimation. I am a complete idiot. I took my camera and then I totally fangirled out on the guy and I forgot to get a picture of him or a picture taken with him. But ugh, I don't know. Oh, and Peter Milliken was there, which was kind of cool, Speaker of the House and our local MP for Kingston and the Islands. And for some reason, he never remembers me in spite of the fact that I've met the man like 25 times in like the past 10 years. I have no idea why. Obviously, I guess I'm not as memorable as I think I am. You know, I'm, I don't know. I just, <laughs> he's very pleasant and very polite, though. And so, I don't know. I always enjoy um, meeting Peter and talking to him. So that was pretty cool. I guess that's probably pretty much it for me. I'm very tired. I've been cleaning the house all day. And uh, I was out and I weeded the garden, something that I haven't done in a very, very, very long time. And so now I'm going to go read a book and lay down for a little while, and I have to work tonight at 11 o'clock. So that will be my funness for the evening, and I hope everybody's had a great week, has a good weekend, and um, I will see you all next week. One more thing, whoever made that intro, that is the most fantastic thing ever. I love it. It's great. Um, I downloaded it from Matt's video, which was an FLV, and then I converted it to like an AVI, and then I've converted it now back to an FLV in order to be uploaded to YouTube, 
so I'm not really sure whether the quality is going to, you know, suck or whatnot. But if anybody has the original or whatever and could fire it off to me, that would be fantastic. My email address is email at madhackdress.com. So that would be very cool. Bye.